Let's find the mass of one atom of sulfur. That's S. Really, all we're going to do is we're going to take the molar mass for sulfur. Actually, it's the atomic mass because it's an atom. This is the average atomic mass. And we just divide that by Avogadro's number. And that gives us the mass of one atom of sulfur. And that's an average sulfur atom. So let's give that a try. So we take this atomic mass here, the average atomic mass, and you can think of the units as grams per mole. So we have 32.07 and the units, grams per mole. We're going to multiply this by a conversion factor because we know that one mole of any substance, that has Avogadro's number of particles. So when we do the math here, moles on the top and bottom, they cancel out. We're left with grams. Really, again, all we're doing is we're taking the atomic mass here, this average atomic mass, and dividing it by Avogadro's number. But this way we know we're doing it right. We'll get the right units. When we do the math, we get 5.33 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And the units, those are grams. If you wanted this number in kilograms, you wanted to find the mass of one atom of sulfur in kilograms, you would divide this by a thousand. So you get an even smaller number, 5.33 times 10 to the minus 26. Finally, if you were given an isotope of sulfur, say sulfur 34, instead of this average atomic mass, you'd put the mass number in our equation here and do the math, and then you would get the mass of one atom of the isotope of sulfur, sulfur 34. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of sulfur, S. Thanks for watching.